Welcome to Ellie Goldsmith's Relationship Flow. It's been a little bit of time since we last uh, touched base. Um, we were dealing with the transition of my oldest son joining the army and the last few weeks, maybe month or so, has been busy with the holiday time here in the Holy Land. We had uh, the morning time of year in the Jewish calendar and then it goes straight out of that into a holiday time which we thank God used mostly to focus on the family. As I was joking with someone, the uh, difficulty, the struggle is balancing out work with family focus, living here in New Shalim, you know, everyone in their own situation. But for me personally, it uh, means a little bit of balancing out with the work story. You know, we've got to keep the income flow and uh, it's not going to happen just by taking days and days off for holiday. So thank God we were able to really constrict the holiday aspect into a few days at the beginning and then a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, da da da, no, no, and that's what we did and uh, thank God I think the family were happy, I think we, we achieved the relationship flow purpose and trying to be there at night time when we're not working and a little bit in the day, working on the road, went to a beach one day, amazing, I can't believe this, we spent literally four shekels on the whole trip other than maybe the petrol and a little bit of food and drink, but the actual destination cost four shekels on the parking. We sat by this beautiful um, area on the beach. And uh, what I decided when I was there, my wife and I, we enjoyed it a lot, that we're actually gonna come back, just the two of us, without the kids. And I think that's an important part of the holiday process. So anyone listening right now is, is just coming to that completion of the holiday time and hopefully it wasn't too expensive, too stressful, and there was a lot of positive family moments, you know, focusing on the soul level, on the connection with each other, that most important of all is that the husband and wife, the soulmate, should get that special time. I was talking to Nissan Black about it. His wife's birthday was as actually today, I believe, and uh, she should be blessed. And, you know, just telling him how before you go on any tours or after any tours, you need to have that one-on-one -on -one time without the kids. So, you know, he's off the grid right now. So even though we've got some deals and stuff going on, but gonna have to wait a little bit. Hopefully everything always, as always, comes together in the right time, the right way. And that's the idea that family has to always be first, especially the soulmate aspects. And that's why after the holiday time, my wife and I, were gonna go away for one night and I'll take an official day off from my work so I don't have to be stressing at all. Um, actually, you know what I might even do, knowing me, I might just do the early morning and then the late night of the next day so I can still get some click in some hours without taking a day off. We'll see, sometimes it works out that you can cup a eye and as they say, you know, get, get in your work hours and don't have to lose out on pay but still, um, you know, have to take some time out actually physically and remove yourself from your normal, you know, Dalai Lama's, your normal area of functioning of work and home and actually go somewhere else. So we're going to go to this beach hotel and have a day out of just uh, of everything, including the kids. And that is a challenge now with phones and everything, because obviously they're still going to phone us. There's still going to be things. But as much as uh, there will be distractions on some level with work as well, probably, we still have to at some point just disconnect to reconnect. And we're not talking about Shabbos, we're talking about during the week between the husband and wife that the soulmate and the relationship needs to be solidified so that, you know, after all the giving to the kids and thinking about what they need to do every day. And, you know, some people, like I said, everyone has their own situations. Some people are living in America or other places you have your camps and what, you know, even here there are some, but it's way beyond our price ability. So, you know, you have ability to get that quality time by sending the kids off or they're married off or, you know, you tell them to F off, no, God forbid. You, you have to, you know, really like make that quality moment with the kids. And, you know, excuse me, my joke before, but the point is that we really do need to have a sense of humor as well and just enjoy the flow. Because right now, I don't know if you're feeling it, but there's a pressure right now um, financially as everything has gone up, everything's more expensive. Um, there are some cheap opportunities here and there, like I was saying, like you can do some trips and you can buy things on a, on a cheaper level there's special cards for for discount pricing and i'm sure there's all kinds of ways of getting around somewhat the price rise but generally everyone's been hit by an increased cost of living 
and that can put pressure on the soul relationship because you want to focus on the connection and you want to enjoy the moment and you want to be able to you know eat drink and be be together without thinking about the stress of work and how you're going to get by and all this kind of stuff so one it takes a lot of as we call it in our Muna class is a Muna and working on that intrinsic relationship with God so you know that God is taking care of you and you're doing what you can and realize that in the end of the day that you know your income comes from a higher, higher source and every year as we're getting close right now we're coming up to El Rosh Hashanah there's an opportunity to really pray and prepare for that divine blessing but I do feel the relationship flow aspects of solidifying your soul connection with your you know soulmate is also the biggest key to bring down the pro, the blessings not only your amuna betoch and your your intrinsic belief and trust in god but also your your connection with your soulmate because often that's where the the chef of the divine abundance the abundant mindset you're trying to live with is 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 transporting this divine energy into blessings to your home and to your family and it needs that kind of warmth and connection and joy and even though sometimes it feels a bit overwhelming like what am I doing with my life right now you know personally you get to that midlife kind of vibe you know see your friends you know they're all thank God's in a higher position it seems or they seem to have more means and they're getting around and flying here and doing that and you know personally like I, I couldn't even if I wanted to I couldn't unless uh, a miracle happens or someone decided to do a big kindness um, which is another point, by the way, I do put my PayPal link on some of my places these days just so anyone's welcome to partner because it, it is practically a more difficult time even though I'd rather just, you know, uh, be successful myself. But Baruch Hashem, you can partner with the projects I'm involved with, the amunalives.com, Tour, all our classes and also all the bookings, Unity bookings. Once again, we have a long list and we talked about it on our Unity Flow podcast a few months ago, how it's growing, thank God, and been doing some shows now with some new artists, Moshe Rubin, and slowly getting some podcasts set up for Westside Gravy, Rudy Rochman, uh, Shalom Museums did some work, collaboration work with Nissan Black. There's lots of good things been going on personally, which you can partner with my general workflow because you know we, we don't charge like overly the people we're, when we're booking stuff and it's still yet, you know, uh, in a workflow that's successful enough for me not to ask but rather to give so um, you know we're, we're working on that and we're praying and Rosh Hashanah and is the time where all this is decided so obviously the previous year was decided it would be this kind of year but and hopefully Tashin Pei Gimel this new year to come El Rosh Hashanah will be a time of Ani Ladodi Vadodi Li that just as I am to my beloved I'll be to my soulmate to Hashem Yisbarach, to our creator and my creator and my soulmate will be to me there's a certain like a mirror relationship between how we are with our with our partner and how we are with our Shem, with our creator and it's very intertwined and that brings down a tremendous blessing. I the David Hashem Uri that Hashem will be my light and you know give us Yeshi or give us salvations and protect us during this new year. And we have to really put our energy into bringing down a lot of mercy, a lot of good vibes, a lot of joy, happiness. Happiness is a one of the biggest keys to bring down the good energy to success, smiling at people, you know, something we can all work on more and to enjoying the quality time with the people we love and then bringing that energy into our workflow and into our relationships with even just like, you know, going on a tram or bus or going to a shop or dealing with your car, whatever it is, you know, going through the airports if you're traveling, to, to smile at people, it can take a little bit of effort when sometimes you feel a bit overwhelmed and stressed and you're constantly looking at the phone. So. Sometimes you have to just remember we're with people and give them some love and it might not always feel natural or easy or you feel like some people are not so healthy around you, but you've got to make the best and do some smiling and, and break through the, uh, the pain and the, the difficulty of life and rem remember there's a bigger light. Like I was watching uh, an interview between Lex Friedman and Jordan Peterson you know, these genius intellectuals that exist in our generation, we can witness their frank conversation. And it was amazing when Lex Friedman asked, he's a young, quite young man, but he's a, obviously a very intelligent person and, you know, he has, seems to have a sweet soul. And he was saying to Jordan, um, you know, like uh, Dr. Jordan Peterson, uh, you know, if he was quoting someone who I'd rather not quote, but nevertheless, it's the way Jordan, Dr. Jordan Peterson quoted it was 
was a tikkun, I suppose, a fixing of such words. He took Nietzsche and uh, sort of turned it on his head because he says, if you look into the abyss, you start to absorb the abyss. But what was so beautifully said by Dr. Peterson was that the, if you look deep enough, you just see the light in the abyss. And that's, you know, obviously they were back and forth about it, but the, the point is that we have to take a deeper look at our life and our relationships. And this is the time now uh, in between leading up to El or Hashanah, a relationship flow to really consolidate everything and pray for the blessings and pray for the deep relationship and the soul connection and look deeper into the struggles that there's, there is salvation, there is good things coming and that, that you have the abilities, you have the strengths to overcome and deal with the struggles. And in your, if you have personal things that are going on, just remember there is, you know, the chazik, amets li becha, the kaveh al Hashem, that we're constantly praying and kaveh al Hashem again, and we're uh, knock a coffee, another coffee, I mean, another kaveh, another hoping, 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 and then we turn that into, you know, chizuk and amets in our heart. And that constantly strengthens us. We have to remember that this is all from Psalm 27. That David Melech is giving us that light and to remind us that you know, we have the strength, we have the courage, we have the ability to deal with life and uh, to strengthen our hearts and each other's hearts with a smile, with good word. And with that, we should all be blessed, all of us, with a beautiful Chodesh and a blessed year. Everyone should have Shalom Bias. The relationship flow should continue. We'll hopefully get it back onto a more consistent level. Baruch Hashem, I was doing what the relationship flow is about, actually living it and trying to be there. My wife did comment that I was much more present this year. So be here now is, you know, one of the songs we put up for Mary Lesser. You know, we have to be here now and just be real present and live life, you know. So everyone should be blessed. We'll be hopefully sharing a collaborative relationship flow at some point during Elo. My wife, it'd be always a pleasure to have um, Teeny Pop 613, my Masha Goldschmidt, and my soulmate on the podcast, always helps take it to a new level. But until then, I just wish you blessings and uh, bring the, the, the refreshed energy you've got. And if you didn't get it, go get it. Go make some time after the holidays with your wife, with your soulmate, and uh, get that re- refreshing state of mind in your relationship. Refresh, reboot, and begin again. Blessed. All the best. Share your relationship flow. Thanks for listening.